Uh, we see these small systems being installed in energy uh, uses, specifically wind turbines and small emergency generators. Um, uh, you know, w when wind turbines catch on fire, that can be quite spectacular. Um, and sometimes you can see, you know, go out and look at v YouTube videos of them. But the small systems can be used up here in the nacelles uh, where all the generator equipment is, as well as down at the base of the unit where all the, the control equipment is. Um, and we also use these systems in cabinets. And so I've got a video of a little fire test with a fire trace system installed in the cabinet. And they're going to light a fire at the bottom and in the middle, and you'll watch the system uh, extinguish both fires. Now, what's important to note about that particular test is that you mentioned sh they should be in an enclosed area. They actually did that test with the door open and it still extinguished the fires. So, <coughs> um, uh, per NFPA 2001, the clean agent code, that should have, you know, that door should have be held shut and that normal condition would be for that door to be shut. But, you know, we can see that even in this case, they got lucky and still extinguished it with the door open. And so, some places you know, where I've basically got boxes that I want to protect. I think about mission critical in IT, looking at server cabinets, even modular data centers that you don't have uh, from the factory fire protection systems installed. Uh, power distribution, another great place. Anytime we have electrical gear, uh, switch gear, UPS cabinets, electrical cabinets, and motor control centers. This picture here that pops up is of a motor control center with a fire trace system installed on it that had a fire. Here, this orange, larger orange tube is the fire trace tube, and down here where the wires are blackened is actually where the fire started and, uh, you know, impinged upon the tube, and that's where it burst and put out the fire.